Did you All right, this? folks, we just now got a call of a structure fire over here off of Carl's Way. We got a, a car that's on fire, and the fire is spreading into the uh, yard towards the home. So, Hemet uh, Fire has already been called out, and we are on our way. All right, we go. Uh, people are still in the house, folks. No, everybody's not out. Fire trucks are here on right right now. All right, there's a propane bottle being reported out there too. We're trying to still get everybody out of the house. So, so what, what did you see? see? You know, when I came out the house, I seen a lot of smoke, and you know, so we came to see what happened, and I guess the house is on fire. <laughs> Lou Dave, what you see, Dave? Man, you know, man, I was out here, you feel me, We walking. seen a lot of fires happen. All we saw was bang, bang. On the balcony, from the balcony, though. You feel from me? the balcony. All the How y'all gonna steal my 15 moments of shine? I don't know what happened, bro. So you, like, you guys saw it blow up like a like light on yeah. fire? No, nah, the flames just like, I mean, we just saw the flames. We smell the flames. You guys see it? Oh, no, I'm from Chicago. So first you, I heard the boom boom. If you making this public, can y'all come see me play at MSJC next year? MSJC. Hey, you never know. Yeah, you just send us a thing on Heavy News. We don't know. Do you see anything? You see anything? I seen everything. First, what happened was I seen the sparks, so somebody was blowing. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then I just seen the kablooey, so I was explosion. So I. Go over there and peak over the fence. But then I ran before the police came. 
Oh, that good. Oh. Oh. Right up. This, he Tell saw everything call. right here. Sure you saw everything? I ain't see nothing. I ain't saying nothing. Oh. I ain't gonna get nothing oh. from oh. you. Right on. 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 Okay, and can you tell me what happened tonight? Uh, heavy units were dispatched to a reported uh, vehicle fire that was extending into the structure here in the area. Units arrived on scene, found a fully involved vehicle that was up next to the structure. Uh, they went ahead, got a, got a handle on it, extinguished the fire before it extended into any of the uh, building at all. Uh, so the occupants were safe and were able to take care of it uh, with the units on scene in about uh, five, ten minutes. Okay, and uh, can you tell me uh, basically how many firefighters we had on scene here today? Uh, right now we had uh, five, ten firefighters on scene. Okay. We had ten firefighters on scene that were going ahead and, and taking care uh, of the fire as well as checking for exposures and uh, making sure if we needed to evacuate any residents that were uh, possibly affected by smoke. Okay, and I did well. hear that there were some residents in the home refusing to come out. Uh, you know what? Uh, they, there were some residents that were inside that were having difficulty, but at no time were there any danger. Uh, we made sure we had units on scene just to make sure that if any had smoke had extended into that area, that we would go ahead and uh, make sure that they got out and that they were safe. Uh, can you tell me, basically, do you have any idea what caused the fire in the car? No, no, cause is still under investigation right now. Okay, and what time was your dispatch? Uh, you know, I'd have to look at, at the camera, but it was probably sometime in the last 20, 20 minutes. So if you want the exact time, I can get that for you. Okay, and if anybody else got any questions? Uh, no, that nope. covered it all. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, what's up, everybody? It's me again, that crazy guy with that lazy eye over here at himandinews.com featuring the Taste of Our Town tour. And today we're back over here again uh, doing a follow-up on Tortoise Ahagadas. Uh, hopefully I said that right. If I don't, well, you know what? You know what I mean. Come on down. They are located over here at 500 South State Street right here in the L-shaped building, you know, uh, where Dogo Dogs used to be. Well, over here they, they feature all kind of really great Mexican food. Tacos, tortillas, uh, whatever you want to name, you know. I don't really understand the names or pronounce all these names of Mexican food. I just eat it, folks. So and I can tell you, they're really good. And don't take my word for it, folks. That's the way I do my promotions and advertising is I actually let you take the customer's words for it. So today what we're going to do, I'm going to go inside this place and we're going to actually talk to the customers. You know, let them tell you how the customer service is, how good their food is. And uh, who knows, uh, we might find out there's customers coming all the way from Rialto and everywhere. Just eat here. So uh, let's go inside, try them out. Like I said again, they are over here at 500 South State Street here in San Jacinto, California. So uh, we're going to go on inside, take you in, give you a little tour of the place. And uh, let's see what everybody else has got to say about their food. Tell me, uh, how did you hear about this place? Uh, through Hemet News. You mean that crazy guy with the lazy eye? The crazy dude himself. Oh my goodness. So, what did you say? So you decided to come down here and try it out from our live stream, right? Yes, I did. Awesome. So, what do you think? Uh, how's the food here? Really good. I got uh, five different types of tacos and uh, definitely fresh. Uh, service is fantastic. And the salsa is incredible. And it's a keeper. It's Definitely. a keeper? It's a keeper. Oh, no, it's a keeper. Would you recommend your friends to come here? I would. And we're all about supporting the small businesses and uh, great food. We're all about great food. This is it. Awesome. So this is your first time here today, yeah, right? Yeah, we're loving it. We're loving it. Yeah. Have you ever followed on any of our other restaurant tours that we've done? Uh, yeah, we did the Sweets Corner in San Jacinto. How'd you like that? 
uh, got a toothache. It was so good. Oh, it was so good it gave you a toothache. Hey, hey, I can refer you to another good dentist if you need one of those. We do have those too. Now I'm just joking. So awesome. Uh, now one of the questions I always like to ask customers, especially when you go into a Mexican style restaurant, you know they always give you the sauce and chips to eat while you're waiting on your main course meal. Tell me, what do you think of their salsa? Oh, incredibly good. Homemade taste, uh, not too hot, not too salty, just right. Really good. Just right. It's good, yeah. All right. And the salsa makes it a keeper. That's that's the right there. So would you definitely come back here again? Absolutely, probably in a few days. Awesome. Would you recommend other friends and family to come here? I would. Yes, I would. Okay. Would you tell them that crazy guy with the lazy eye with him and I news.com said, come on down? The one and only crazy guy will be recommended. So, you know, like I say, I don't want to take my word for it. I want you to take the customer's word for it. So how long have you been coming to this restaurant? For like two years. Two years. Yes. Now, I know they just opened up out here. So you must have been going to somewhere else before here, right? Yeah, I was going to the Fontana one. But then we found out about this place, and then now this is going to be our place. Awesome. So how do you like your food here? It's really good. Um, we're from Guadalajara, so we always eat the tortas. The tortas ahogadas are really good. Now, since you ate here at this location, tell me one thing that's very important. How is the customer service? The customer service so far is really good. Really good. Yes, it's always been good. Now, is there food as good here as it was in Fontana? Yeah, it's still the same good food. And the same great people, right? <laughs> yeah, my kids love it. We all love it. Would you recommend your friends and fam other family to yeah, come here? all my family comes here, actually. Well, we used to go to the Fontana one, like I said, but then now we're going to go to this one. I will recommend it to everybody to come down and try it. It's really good. Awesome. And make sure you tell everybody that crazy guy with lazy eye with him and I news.com to come on down. I will. <laughs>